backwards compatibility, but you can, it has digital backwards compatibility for PS2, and then if you have PS Now, uh, you can, it has PS3 backwards compatibility. Which really, to be honest, I really, that's one thing about the PS4, like, I really don't get it, like, you know, like, why are, the PS4, to me, is like, you know, I'm not too impressed with the PS4, to be honest with you, because, here's the thing, you know, the PS2, look, it, you can play, you know, uh, you know, it has PS1 backwards compatibility, and then, you know, what up, and then DVD, com compatible with DVDs, unlo you know, unlo the PS1 wasn't, because that was before DVDs, and then, you know, the PS1, it was also a CD player in addition to playing, you know, PS1 games. And then there's the PS3, which, you know, had your Blu-ray compatibility. And then it also, as well as d CDs and DVDs, and it also had PS1 and PS2 backwards compatibility. But then, you know, they and the PS3 Slim came out, and guess what? No PS2 backward compa backwards compatibility. That's, that's where PlayStation has gone downhill. I'd, I'd definitely say that, um, so really, I mean, I think, the PS4 comes out, you know what they do? They remove CD compatibility, well, I mean, that's not too big of a deal for me, because, just because, you know, CDs are, you know, kind of, you know, out, Like, you know, today we have e your digital music. Like, I have Amazon music, so... And... So I can get songs and, like, add them to my playlist. And, you know, that that's good. So, so that's why people have, you know, started doing, you know, digital, and they've said, no, we're not doing, we're not buying CDs anymore, and, in fact, Best Buy has, I think, this year, I don't know if they've done it already, but Best Buy, they're, they're done selling CDs, so, and then, you know, PS4, guess, no PS1, or PS2, PS3 physical backward compatibility, so, it has to be digital, and it's only PS2 and PS3, but, I uh, think they, I think the PS4 Pro, maybe the PS4 Slim, I think, they may have added 4K compatibility, but, you know what, I've, I've talked about this enough, I'm moving on, um, anyway, so, my digital, my six digital games, I got, uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong Mini March Again, uh, WarioWare Snap and Dr. Mario Express, those were all pack, uh, pack-in, well, yeah, pack-ins, I guess you could say, uh, okay, so I got Mario Calculator, Mario Clock, and Animal Crossing Clock, oh, did I say that I had six digital games, I meant five, sorry about that, Anyway, I also got Clubhouse, Games Express, Card Classics, and Absolute Chess. Um, and I've also got the 3DS transfer tool for when I get the 3DS. And when I get my 3DS, by the way guys, this is a DSi. I'm getting rid of my DSi. Why? Well, simply because the DSi doesn't have, you know, Game Boy Advance backward compatibility. Backwards compatibility, so... And, so, yeah, that's, so simply, it's just, 
And if I get a 3DS, it has DS backwards compatibility, so I can play DS and 3DS games. I mean, you can't... I mean, the 3D feature doesn't work for the DS games, but hey, that's fine. At least we're still getting our DS games. So... In addition, there's also... Uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and GBA games on the, um, well, GBA, I think you've got to be, uh, you got to join, like, the Nintendo Club or something like that to play them, so, yeah, I'm, so, but, yeah, anyway, I mean, and there's also, uh, s uh, you know, the Sega Game Gear. They've got Sega Game Gear games for 3DS. And I think they've got some home consoles uh, games for on 3DS. Like, I don't think they have any N64 games. But, hey, um, I think they've got NES and S and Super Nintendo games on here. But, anyway, I've talked enough about So, yeah. Well, guys, I think... That's it. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, fans.